Hello YouTubers, welcome back to GQ Auto Diagnostics and Repair, where my job is to save you money. This afternoon I'm working on a, two, in a 95 Chevy Silverado twin, uh, 1500, it's a K1500. It's a 4x4 automatic and the brake pedal went down, you know, and, and it takes a while to, to brake. However, the issue that we found here you know it is we have a blown wheel cylinder now you can see here we have the brake shoe they already worn okay so that mean uh, two things the friction material worn out so this the shoe have to travel farther and the more it travels the more that piston is gonna push but also look like that drum was already uh, machined over the the limit so now the inside diameter gets bigger so that mean you should have to travel even more and this is what happened okay you can see this is out of out of place so anyhow we're gonna replace this thing I'm gonna replace the the wheel cylinder going to replace shoes spring brakes uh, and all that kind of fun stuff so I hope uh, this video helped you to to get things uh, fixed for you and your vehicle this is what we're gonna do first of all we're gonna start removing this little cups so that way we can just we're gonna use this tool here so this is to be able to see the opening here so I always like to start uh, with the one the front this one in the back shoe is the one with the parking brake. So I like to start here and uh, let's see if I can do this because there it is. Now ah, we're good. Come on. Push the pen. Okay. Now what we're gonna do here on the bottom, we are going to grab this and pull it. Now here, so take the pressure out of it. Cool. Doing this. I don't think this is the best angle for me to to give you guys, but so I don't know if I will continue the video, but there is. Now what we're gonna do here? We are going to. Do this pull, and that's just how it comes. You see how much adjustment this have? I mean, people have been trying to adjust this brake for a long time because of that. Now you see how this rivet is uneven. You have a little bit of friction material here, but you got nothing here. And I mean that drum. It is. Oh. Not good, obviously, but anyhow, again, put this thing here, push in. And usually what I like to do when I do this, I push in and with the backhand, I turn. It works for me, so everybody's different. So if you got something else, use what it works for you. This goes like this there now this is gonna come right that's it Get 
this uh, spring. It's already all bended. It should come fairly easy all the time. But oh well, we're gonna worry about that in a minute. Stop the video. I gotta get different pliers so I can remove this lock right here. And we are going to it's a, look like half an inch and ten uh, three eighths in the back. I'll be right back. All right, so the back uh, wheel cylinder bolts they are ten millimeter and the uh, right line. It is 14 millimeter or 916. You can use either one. Now, sometime if you have a vehicle with a lot with rust, make sure you spray behind the line with uh, WD-40 or a little bit of oil, so that we can penetrate between the line and the and the and the nut. So that way, when you break or loose, the the brake line doesn't twist with the nut stay stuck to it and uh, break the line so just keep that in mind very very important okay so already uh, this one is loose now i'm using a 14 millimeters a tight fit so i can have to protect my skin there you go Us. Now this is loose, it's going to rotate, give me a second. so I'm going to use this for a little bit, I'm going to pause the video because I don't want to spend too much time filming me clean this back area, but wow, it's a lot of grease here, a lot of build up, so I'm using brake cleaner. This one actually was courtesy of my friends from AutoZone. They actually sponsored this. They helped me out with that. So I appreciate that. Okay. My buddies over there. That was awesome. All right. So I'm going to start the video for a minute. All right, guys. So now this is the cleanest right now. It's going to get for what I need to do. I've already removed the wheel cylinder. Uh, I got the new wheel cylinder here okay and i'm gonna go wash my hands shortly after i finish this this is the part number that i'm using okay this is for as a doodleless again i'm not a sponsor by this company or anybody it will be nice but i am not so i just showing you what i'm using next here this is the contact point of where the shoe goes up against the, the backing plate you want to make sure you pay attention to this contact points because if you see a lot of deep grooves you need to replace this backing plate sometimes you can you can you know softly you know grind it a little bit to make it smooth this is very tiny you can do that no big deal but if it's too deep what's going to happen if you don't replace it the the, the metal of the shoe is going to bind there so it's going to just have like it's not gonna break smooth sometimes it can just get stuck okay so just remember to keep uh, those six point of contact three and the front three and the back so that way you know you're doing a good job with your, with your brakes next always before you do anything else make sure you start you place this wheel cylinder and start the line the, the nut nice by hand so that way you eliminate minimize the chances of cross threading it remember that part ok 
okay other way you will find yourself if you put the wheels under and trying to uh, tighten them later you can potentially cross thread it and you're going to have to do a lot more work if it does you know pay attention to that all right so i'm gonna start the video i'm gonna go and finish tighten this and i gotta tie, uh, clean my hands so that will when it's time to do the, the shoes my hands are not all full of oil okay guys so that's tight hands are clean nice the way i like them and the next thing that we need to do i'm gonna make sure or stuff actually it is the right size yeah look at this brake pads man brake shoes somebody is going to correct me that i said the wrong thing but brake shoes. this one with the pin is going to go on the front okay because that pin is going to go right here like this let's keep that in mind most of the time in some vehicles you're going to have a long shoe and a short shoe if it has the case this one doesn't have the pin this one does have a pin you're gonna put them side to side and make sure the both if you want is shorter the friction material than the other one you going to put the shore friction material towards the front of the car and the long one towards the back of the car doesn't matter which direction you face in the car that's how it goes okay Let's keep that in mind this one both are the same so we're gonna start with the one in the back with the secondary okay okay perfect so this new hardware so this is gonna go like that now we also gonna have this all the new spring kit okay this is what i'm using Every time that you do a job, it's best to spend the extra 10 bucks. I think that's what it was, 10, 12 bucks, I can't remember right now. And get the, this new, this a little spring washer, it goes here. Let's see, there we go. Now this goes here. Like this and then oh look at this again so this goes like this this goes here and now that the washer was a little bit compressed it's a lot easier to to slide things there there you go it's done easy fit but i'm trying to make a video so my mind is a little bit split you don't want to put too much. If you put overdo it, the heat sometimes can create this grease to run, and it's gonna find its way into you, into the shoe. So again, you don't want to put way too much of anything. Okay, so we're done. Let's go. That goes there, hold it, okay, so the pin is at 12 o'clock, the way I told you, I'm grabbing the tool with the other hand, like this, okay, course now it's gonna make me work for it not like the first time right there is there we go done I got it okay this is good we got lubrication in the back
we got this position it right the next step is going to be to install this this is gonna go here first okay I can install it there just like that and leave it don't worry about it next step okay is going to be grab the one with it grab this you can do it like this install it like that see that goes a lot easier than the other one okay go there put it there there now you do this and you pull and the big one is there you don't have to worry about it okay I'm gonna make an extra step just for today so that way you guys can see how easy it is to install that spring now we're gonna let it sit there and I need to clean a couple things I gotta clean this the adjustment mechanism and I will continue the video because this has to be very very um, clean now the way it's not gonna work and my hands are all filthy again no all right so this is nice and dry and clean so the this and the spring that is going to hold this up this mechanism up against this part so that way they don't come loose all right so now you remember how i installed this so the next thing that you're going to do i'm going to remove things so i can try to position the camera a little bit better for you guys but i will do as much as i can Hopefully you guys can see it. Okay. So next thing that you're gonna do. Now you see this is holding by itself. No problemos. Now we can pull this off like this. Now the adjustment wheel right here, okay, is gonna go towards the front of the car. That's where this is gonna latch into that pin, the guiding pin that we have now. The reason that is because in the back we have a thicker area. That's why this part is bigger. It's wider than this. Okay. So that's going to go there. It's going to go all the way in. Perfect. Now, what we're going to do here, we're going to hold it with the other hand. We're going to pull and we're going to twist just like that. Now, gonna guide this thing like this on the end for the most part Big deal, easy fix. Again, if you're watching this far, I do appreciate it. Thank you so much for being here. That means a lot to me. Now, one thing, don't mix this. If you're one of those people or person that want to do both sides at the same time, make sure you keep separate you, the pad. The, dry, the right side or the passenger side the driver's side or the left side because this one sometimes you don't see it this one have a R for right because if you mix this this 
adjustment screw, you put it on the left side, automatically every time you back, you go in reverse and apply the brakes, it's going to remove adjustment instead of adding adjustment. Just keep that in mind. I've seen people doing it. Okay. So now you want to make sure this part, it is right on the pad on the area it should be sometimes when you install it here on the front this can slide back down so make sure you just keep it placed there and this is right what it needs to be and everything pretty much it is like it's gonna stay by itself now I want to pull the pin back here the next thing that we want to do Okay, is to install this and we want to use our trusty in it. Want to make sure this goes in. We want to push it a little bit more we just go there there it is all the way now don't worry about this part just yet so what you're gonna do you're gonna pull here and that's it it's done right there you see everything is staying by itself right now same thing we go here on the back we're gonna have our guiding pin moving it's gonna go there make sure you got you your pin This goes there. We're gonna repeat the same procedure that we did early. So you do that. That's it. We're almost done. As you can see, the brake pad is pretty clean. Even if you right now, my hand is kind of filthy. So you need to learn how to keep your work as clean as possible. So, all right, so we got that done. Next thing that we need to do is going to be this. Now this is gonna go from behind it's gonna latch all the way here, the longer part. The short part is gonna go right here. I didn't brought a long needles pliers, but this will do it. Let's see. Okay, that's done. do it different today this like this I'm gonna put it here make a lash if you want that's it you can do it either one either way that's there this slash here all the way there that is up against that area and that's how you do it okay so I'm sorry if you today kind of took me a little bit extra work but Sometimes it happens, you know. Sometimes things don't want to cooperate the way you usually do. 
that's how you replace the shoes on your vehicle always double check that is in the right position those because those are critical if you kind of sort of put it what it needs but it it happened not to be all the way a 90 degree there with the vibration with the vehicle start braking it will twist and it will come apart and all your brake job it will be destroyed all right guys so this is all what i have for today the next thing it will be i will try to make another video about how to do your um, to adjustment and how to bleed the brakes i hope you like this and subscribe to the channel leave your comments and i will do what i can to create more content as usual do your best forget the rest god bless and i will see you in the next video later